I saw well, fanatics. If you, if if you ever ordered anything off of fanatics, no, don't because Why? everything they make sucks. Oh, but they've become a big deal. And that dude, uh, I forget what his name is. The guy that, that runs fanatics. Uh, he's a giant doucher, but, uh, like all the celebrities love him. Like he throws like big parties. So he had like a big super it's Bowl. Michael Rubin, who Michael Rubin. A huge Miami white party oh, with yeah. all the celebs. Yeah. Yeah. It's him. And he owns the, the, the Sixers. Who'd he buy? Sixers. I believe. Sixers. Yeah. He's a giant douche canoe, but he's like, uh, he's like the young hip billionaires. Like, ah, so fanatics has grown into like this big giant conglomerate now. It's an where, empire. Yeah. So when you like go to MLB.com I've or any, I've never even been to fanatics. Com. Well, here's the thing. You probably, well, you may not have, but when you go to like Major League Baseball or the NHL website and you go to like the, the team store, those are, f- those are run by Fanatics. Mm. And like Fanatics is now making like the NHL jerseys and Fanatics is actually going to make the Major League Baseball jerseys this year, but Nike is licensing their logo. So Fanatics is making them. Nike is putting their logo on it. So the quality has gone way down, but it's supposed to still look like it's an upper tier uh. brand. Yeah. And they've actually raised prices. And, and if you've basically, if you've bought something through a team store, you've that's, that's kind of not the, the top tier quality, like you, not a top Jersey or something. It's a Fanatics. And so, like, they suck. Like, please, just uh, as a uh, PSA, stop giving Fanatics money. First off, if you order from them, you don't know what you're going to get. It's like Wish. You, It's flip a coin. Maybe you get what you ordered. Maybe you didn't. And if you do get it, chances are it's going to be a hunk of crap. They make, like, the worst things. And so now they're, they're making, like, replicas and on-field stuff. And not only are fans pissed, but players are pissed. Now you got major league play- players coming out and being like, dude, I don't know what these are, but these suck. See, I thought it was a shot at Nike because well, pe- I was, well, people are upset at Nike for licensing yeah. their stuff to fanatics. So I, I didn't look too far into it because I just, you know, I'm just yeah. kind of tired of people bitching about everything. Sure. And they were like, because I guess they released nine new Nike. Yeah, they're like city. Think about like city the, jersey. Yeah, like what they do for the NBA. Yeah. yeah. They did that in baseball. And some people were like, oh, these are terrible. <laughs> and so I was like, oh, I'm sure they're fine. But, you know, how people are when something first comes out, they have to take a dump on it. Well, there's a difference between. So I didn't know that. Taylor Swift, yeah, there's a difference between not liking nope. the designs. And just they're yeah. just making crap. Well, that's that's what the like some of the comments were. These look so cheap. I'm like, no. dude, Nike doesn't make cheap stuff. Well, I let me retract that. <laughs> Walk it back. But I don't know. I just uh, yeah, I don't want to hear it. Well, and this is the problem. Nike makes really nice stuff. But now I get it. The problem is, is that when Fanatics is making it yeah. and then slapping a logo on it, and when right. you they, people are putting up side by side, like the the Mariners, a bunch of Mariner fans have put up, like last year's uh, jerseys. And look, you're spending money. If you go to a ballpark and you buy the, uh, not even the authentic on, on field one, but like the, the nice replica, you're into it for a 170. And when you're spending 170 bucks and, and you're getting like a sub laminated piece of crap that just looks janky, like, come on. And they've actually raised the price to like 190. And so people are putting up the side by sides it, it, it's pretty bad. So is this like when Alaska Airlines, or no, sorry, Boeing outsources the door plugs to yeah. some crappy ass company that doesn't screw it in properly, and then bingo, somebody dies. Yeah. So th- that's so like what, that. That's why people are upset at Nike. Is that well, they don't, but they farm out a lot of stuff, don't they? <laughs> I don't know how much, like, I, as far as I know, like this, as far as like uniforms go, I, d- I haven't heard of them farming out this sort of work because everything is being made by fanatics in fanatics, uh, facilities, and then just throwing the logo on it. Now I have told the story when I first got to BYU, uh, we were a Nike school, but not a, an important one. So all of our stuff was Wilson. And then they just crudely sewed the Nike patch mm. over the top and the Wilson logo bigger than the Nike one. So they just took a similar color and then just cut a circle patch out and then sewed it over the top of the Wilson so logo. So Nike would, wouldn't even make you uniforms. They just gave you patches back in the day. And then I want to say like my second or third year there, then we got we actually got Nike uniforms, but yeah, my first year or two there, everything we had was either Russell athletic or Wilson. And then just crudely sewing Nike patches over the top. Man. And I was like, wow, you can tell it was important. And now that, you know, they don't do that at least 
they don't at BYU. Uh, but yeah, that's why everyone's pissed at fanatics and I couldn't agree more. So once again, stop giving fanatics money. That place sucks. So where, where am I supposed to go for uh see, I don't, I don't buy a lot of sports gear. Yeah. I don't really either. And so that's probably why fanatics is yeah sort of foreign to me. Yep. Like I have a Padres hat, but I bought that at the Padres game. And it's probably new era. Yeah, yeah, I think it's New Era. New Era makes and all that. I have that. a Royals hat, uh-huh. and I bought that in Kansas City when they won the World Series. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think of other sports gear I have. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna go to fanatics.com right now. You don't want to do I'm gonna that. Gonna check this out. So if and and that's the problem is that a lot of the stuff on Fanatics now is just it's they they do sell other brands, but. A lot of it is the Fanatics brand itself. So how does that, how do they get away with that? They just bought the licensing from yeah, each from, team? Yeah, from each team. They say, hey, we're going to pay you a bunch of money. We're just going to. Yep. They become licensed. And so they're making huh. like the NHL uniforms. Like they made the, uh, they made the, the all-star uniforms for, I think like for like Adidas. So wait. And people are now posting all of the, there's a whole like Twitter account called like fanatic sucks where it's just people are showing mm-hmm. like I ordered from fanatics and this is what I got. Oh really? It's, it's really well, bad. I'm looking here at the Royals section. Yeah. And most of this is new era. Yeah. <sighs> Well, that's good. And here's a Royals jersey that's Nike. Yeah. See, but now and now maybe and, that... and now people are pissed because it used to be when you order Nike, you knew you were getting yeah. Nike, and now, now people are like, right. "Am I getting Fanatics with a Nike swoosh?" And so that's again why well, people are mad say, at Nike. It says replica, so that probably means it's the Fanatics version. Good chance that's the Fanatics version if it's this year's. Man, they got some cool stuff on here. Be yeah. So. Well, I'm not going to buy any of it, but yeah, it's 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 a it's a dicey bet. I've ordered. I've ordered probably a handful of things over the years, some fanatics. Like once I ordered a, uh, I ordered a New York Mets, like long sleeve, something or other. And I got a short sleeve California angels t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And I was like, well, what? Uh, oh, okay. That so- maybe explains something that happened over Christmas. We bought a meat wanted us to buy him, buy a Padres beanie for one of the girls yeah. and nieces. Yeah. And a Buffalo Sabres beanie showed up. Sounds about right. <laughs> so I'm guessing that's, I'm, I'm starting to put two and two together here. That's Fanatics. I've ordered probably five or six things over the years of Fanatics, and I'll bet you I've gotten my order maybe twice that without having to be like, well, this. And sometimes like it's it's huh. it's it's the wrong shape. Once I ordered something, uh, I think it was a Red Wings thing, and the like the the logo on it was like sideways. It was like at a forty degree angle. I looked at it and I was like, what is like this? And the the name on the back was all peeling already. And like I emailed them and I, they're like, well, you need to send that one back. I'm like, you really, you want this? Like, what are we, like, I won't order anything from Fanatics anymore. Someone like, here on the Vancouver Four text line said, I ordered a men's triple XL 2020 Dodgers uh, World Series championship t-shirt. They sent me a women's small. Yes. <laughs> like that, I'm, I'm not kidding. It happens. I don't know how companies like, you would think in today's day and age that when you you produce crap and you have horrible customer service and you have problems, like you get exposed, right? And like you stop growing, but somehow Fanatics just keeps getting bigger and I, I can't figure out how because like everyone that deals with them all says the same thing. Well, I'm looking here. Their valuation is uh, 31 billion. <laughs> So, right. I life's good. It's just so bad. God, I can't figure it out. Mm. It's like how Applebee's became so big. You're like, what? Who? Who? And the stuff isn't even like cheap either. You would think like if you're it's buying just cheaper than like the, the top tier stuff. Yes. And so it's it, it. They've almost set themselves up first as like the low price leader, but they've been able to creep that up now. Yeah, it's it's like, yeah, not everyone wants to spend forty five dollars on a T-shirt. I get it. But the Fanatics one's like 34, and it's a hunk of S. <laughs> it's just, it's awful. They make the worst stuff. So, so anyway. it sounds like uh, just, uh, you know, Googling and all that. Yeah. Nike and Fanatics have been in bed together for several years, and for Fanatics while. makes a lot of the college stuff. <laughs> Gee, well, yeah, it says buck, they buckle up. They share the rights to serve a number of major universities. Yeah. So Nike's just like, ah, uh, you, deal you do it. it, you get half of it. Yeah. Huh. Well, that's interesting. People are unhappy with the NHL stuff, and people are right. certainly unhappy well, with the major people league are baseball unhappy stuff. with everything. Yeah, Look, I'm they, not saying they're wrong. They have a right to be unhappy. They're always about unhappy. This. And by the way, that's hot sports business talk here on the fan. <laughs> you guys like sports business? 
you never know what you're going to get these uh, mm. these shows here until we get to oh I don't know football again. Yeah. I'm passionate about my anti fanatics hate though. I, I feel strongly well, about what it. What is the what is the um, competition or who is the competition? Well, I mean, it like, just. I, Man, I guess it would be just, you know, Nike, Adidas, all that stuff. The problem is that when you go to team stores now, more often than not, it's Fanatics. It's like, just vague. You don't know who's making what. Yeah, and Fanatics runs the NHL and the MLB shops. And, you know, you got to be careful with what sort of crap you're buying. And if it says Fanatics on it, I'm telling you, it's like that Timu stuff. They ran like 19 different ads on Timu. the Super Timu. Yeah. Yeah, don't do not do that. What is Timu? <laughs> <laughs> it's the fanatics from China, apparently. Timu, Timu. And they just want to steal your credit card information and then send you crap. Yeah, Timu is like a... It's, it's a, like an overstock. Yeah, it's like a bad Chinese version of overstock.com that just has horrid reviews. Wow, 90% off here, it says. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> huh. You don't want... I wonder want. what the catch is there. <laughs> <laughs> the catch is they get your credit card. You get discounted merchandise and they get your identity and credit card. Oh, so here's they, a mop for three dollars and forty eight cents, <laughs> and oh. you don't and you don't know what's showing up at your doorstep. But people see three bucks, like I better buy. I'll stick with Amazon. There you go. I think that's probably. I like the Amazon, best. although some of it's generic on there yeah. too. <laughs> you know, you ever look on there? Oh yeah. And you're like, yeah, just be aware of what you're buying. You're just looking for something that you don't know much about, right? Yeah. And so you just go on Amazon. It's like, yeah. I wonder what the, the, like, you know, they have the user's choice or like people's choice one. Yeah, this is like Amazon's choice. It's always the cheapest thing. Yeah. Because just, people are cheap. You just got to be aware. Just be, you just got to pay attention to what you're buying because it's, it's not always. Uh, yeah, but that's hard when you're, when you're ordering online, you know, you got to, when you're in a store, it's a little easier. Let me just say this. Uh, and again, not, not uh, everyone can buy what they want to buy. And I That's get it. Right. We all want the best bargain, but tell me what to buy. Let's say you're shopping for a widget, whatever it is you're buying. Okay. And all the widgets that you see are thirty nine ninety nine, mm -hmm. And then you see one for eight ninety nine. Yes. That's my widget. <laughs> You might want to be aware that there's a reason why one's eight ninety nine and the the rest of them are thirty nine. Now, if it's like four or five bucks, yeah, but like, like one is is a, an eighth of the cost. Yeah, just be aware you may not be getting the best thing in the world. And you read some reviews and people are like, "Uh, oh, it was cheap." They're like, "Uh." Eh. Like that's people the, like that though, but that's like, but don't we, they like getting something? That yes, but when you read the review and the review is, well, it's not great, but uh, eh, it's cheap. Like that's not. I a, think that's the overriding. That's what people want. It's not a rousing endorsement. No, but it's what people want. See, they're just giving. It's people what, what some they people want. want. So, it's yeah, not it's priority not for a whole, for a, a lot of people. I though. know, but dude, come on, man. There is a market in any product. To to the, there is a lowball market for any product. Yeah. That people do not care. They just want it cheap. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of people like that. Just remember, you know, whether you're, I know them. whether you're buying widgets or hookers or blow, never go with the cheapest one. It's not going to end up well for you. Uh, you know, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. It's, that fentanyl thing, like, ah, it's probably well, not the blow part. It's probably going to be. I was fine. thinking more of the. It's going to be fine. Hooker part. <laughs> you can get what you need. Yeah, I think you get what you pay for a lot of the times. <laughs>